Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Millionaire Mafia. Uh, I've got an awesome uh, video here for you guys today. Today, we're actually going to be talking to a, a good friend of mine, as well as my uh, my uh, life insurance agent, Tom Lonnie, uh, who has a, a patented strategy called Bulletproof Wealth that he uses uh, and deals uh, almost exclusively with uh, real estate investors and how he's able to uh, basically help them uh, you know, take their real estate investing to the next level while also adding in, um, you know, uh, uh, protection for themselves and their family to not only uh, attain uh, wealth, but also uh, retain wealth. So uh, I'm, for the most part, I'm going to be acting as kind of, uh, you know, just an interviewer and Tom's going to be doing most of the talking. This is going to be a several part series that we're going to do. Uh, the general breakdown is going to be kind of, you know, who Tom is, uh, what the Bulletproof Wealth Strategy is. And then we'll be, uh, in subsequent videos, we'll talk about, you know, uh, specifics more like my policy, how it was broken down and why it's done the way it is. And then we'll talk about some specific questions that you guys have asked me over the years as far as, you know, what it is and why I do it and, and what are the benefits, what are the, you know, the downfalls, if any, and, and what are some, you know, uh, some of those types of things. So that's what we're going to cover. Um, so, for right now, I'm gonna uh, kick it over to Tom. Tom, how you doing? I'm doing great, Jake. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be on here with you today and to be able to explain some of the basics about what this strategy that I've created called the Bulletproof Wealth Strategy. Um, so I'm gonna just share my screen if that's okay, just to give you guys, I think I can go through it a little quicker if I um, give you a little, screen share can you see that jake yeah we got you so the the strategy really consists of bulletproofing your income your savings and your bankability those are the three things so i've taken infinite banking and kind of pushed it up to a little bit more broad level um, and i'll explain why in a minute here so the first thing is bulletproofing your income and that is using long-term disability insurance. And why do I think long-term disability insurance is so important is because this is a picture that I want you to absorb for a minute. This is me right there. And I was in the music industry, Jake, for 29 years. This is me working uh, on a band uh, called REM. Um, and we did this record called Green, which was one of their platinum selling albums. And this is just me in the studio. And I did this job for 29 years. And towards the end of it, I started to have a hearing loss that made it so I couldn't do the job. But I thankfully had had this amazing long term disability policy that I was able to use to go back to school and get three financial designations that I'm currently using every day to help my clients be able to um, really bulletproof their wealth. So the three designations I got was a chartered financial consultant, a chartered life underwriter, and a chartered special needs consultant. And it's been a huge, huge um, help for me to have that background because my strategy is definitely more holistic in nature than just a straight up infinite banking practitioner. Although I have been a certified infinite banking practitioner since that program started back in 2013. So I was a part of the very first group to go through and be authorized to be able to teach that strategy. But I think that there are some elements that are not at all included in that. And that's why I wanted to come up with my own trademark registered strategy that incorporates infinite banking, but is not exclusively infinite banking, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. So, and that, I think that's a, a big thing that we need to cover, which is there is IBC, there is whole life insurance and yeah. their, how they operate. And then there is the Bulletproof Well strategy, which is, similar and, and uses the different things together but it's a strategy more so than a a uh a, a, you know a specific thing right it's it's right. not a it, it's not a vehicle it's a specific like strategy and an all, all all encompassing kind of you know personal strategy that you use and is tailored to each individual person 
Absolutely, Jake. It's custom done for everybody. And it is a mindset shift on how money works and how leverage works to be able to really take advantage of how this really the best parts of it. So the first thing is bulletproofing your savings. And that um, is a line of credit um, with a mutual life insurance company to increase your leverage. That's what we're doing here. Now, the only way that I can really describe this, Jake, to make it simple for people is to compare it to something that everybody in the real estate world understands, and that is a home equity line of credit. So how does it work? It works very similar to a home equity line of credit, and everybody out there who knows how a home equity line of credit works, I'm gonna explain the differences between that and a life insurance line of credit. So with a home equity line of credit, the first thing is that the credit line amount is fixed, okay? That means that you go in, you have your credit checked, you get the house appraised, you figure out how much equity is available, they give you a second lien position, home equity line of credit, if you have a mortgage, and they give you a first lien position line of credit if you don't have a mortgage. But with a life insurance line of credit, the amount of credit increases every year. So it's really important, the difference between it being fixed and increasing because every time you make a new deposit or pay a new premium into your life insurance, your credit line goes up. So that is really a cool differentiator. And of course, the home equity is the collateral for life and for the uh, home equity line of credit. But for life insurance, the cash value is the collateral. It's really important that you understand the difference between face value and cash value. And face value is nothing more than the amount of life insurance you have. And cash value is how much cash is inside the policy. And that cash is what is used to collateralize to be able to have this line of credit. Um, and the use of a home equity line of credit impacts your credit score, okay? Because it affects your debt to income ratio. An important key differentiator with the life insurance line of credit is that the use of it does not impact your credit score, which everybody who does this strategy loves that because you don't have to worry about getting dinged every time you wanna take a collateralized loan against your life insurance. Of course, with a home equity line of credit, the interest that you take, um, the, the interest that you pay is paid to a bank and the interest that you pay on a life insurance line of credit is paid to the life insurance company. That's super important differentiator is that you're paying one to a bank and another to a life insurance company. So of course, you do not own the bank. So there's zero earning potential with the home equity line of credit. But yes, you are a part owner of the life insurance company because I only work with mutually owned companies. So you participate in the dividends of the company, which are paid annually. So your credit line is actually going up each year and it's increasing with the dividends and your um, home equity line of credit is not earning you anything. So it's right. because right. it's bank owned and the life insurance line of credit is mutually owned. Okay, so that's another yeah. key differentiator. Do you have and a question about that? Big, yeah, I, well, so it's not so much a question, it, it's a statement. This is a big hang up point, I think, for a lot of people is that, well, why am I paying interest on my own money, right? Well, at the end of the day, you, you do have to pay interest to somebody, right, on the loan, but, you're actually essentially paying into the mutually owned company that gives you dividends based off of more people paying into the company. So it, it's kind of a, you're, you're getting some of it back, right? And, and there's, there's other things that I'm, I'm being very general here, but you, it's not like, it's just, you know, light a match to it, like you would to a, to a bank, right? Exactly. So, so what it is, is that the dividends, and I'll try to explain this super simply, Jake, but the dividends are essentially return of profit of the company back to the policyholders. So they call it a participating policy. And that means you're participating in the profit of the mutually owned company. Now, the um, dividends are 
return of that profit minus their operating expenses and their mortality charges. So you really want to have the company that has the cleanest operational, um, you know, efficiencies as possible. And the lower their cost of operating, the better your dividends are going to be because they're going to take out less for that portion of it. So I know that's a little bit complicated, but that's a, that is a important key differentiator because people think why would I pay an interest on my own money? Well, you're not. Your own money is sitting in the policy, just like your house is sitting there and you've got an equity line based on the collateralization of the equity in your house, but they're not taking away your house when you use your equity line. Right. Okay. And it's not That's, increasing in value, it, it, essentially. Typically a house, not always, but you know, it does go up over time in value. The same thing with your policy. It's that you're you're lending on the you're basically taking like you said a line of credit against the current cash value which is ever increasing but it doesn't affect your cash the actual cash value in your policy absolutely that's exactly right so yeah. let me just go down here to the next final thing on this strategy that is really important and that is bulletproofing your bankability. Oops, hold on one second. So bulletproofing your bankability. And that is very, very important to understand what this is. This is the third leg of my stool. So I've got protecting your income with long-term disability insurance. We've got this creating a line of credit inside of a, a mutually owned life insurance policy. And then we have this bankability protection, which is a special type of convertible term life insurance that is with a mutually owned company and what it is it's a low cost rent to own option that locks in your current health status allows you to upgrade it in the future right that you can can increase your capacity of your line of credit because i get this question all the time hey what if we want to make this line of credit larger in the future um, in a big way, we want to make a big jump. Well, you do that with convertible term insurance. And I personally have employed this strategy every time I buy as much convertible term insurance as I can. And then as the years go on, I convert it in tranches. You don't have to convert it all at once, but it allows you to have multiple whole life policies that as you have more money to save each year, you don't have to go back and be re underwritten of medically to be able to do that. It just captures your maximum qualifications. So right. that is the kind of the three things that I specialize in. Um, and it really, it really, they symbiotically work together. Um, and there's one important key differentiator I have on the whole life policy, and that is if you got sick or hurt, the minimum required payment to be um, put in each year. So there's a big window of flexible funding on these things. And the minimum required amount would be paid before you um, by the insurance company if you got sick or hurt and couldn't work. And I do that through um, some advanced things called uh, disability, enhanced disability waiver premium rider. So that's a part of the Bulletproof Well strategy as well. So let's talk about that because because sick or hurt is kind of a general uh, term, right? So what what does that mean? I, I, I'm, I'm, thir I'm an old uh, helicopter pilot. I'm, I'm hurt all the time, but obviously right. I don't qualify for disability. And, uh, you no, know, so sick, sick or hurt means you cannot work. And so it's sick or hurt and unable to perform the major occupations of your job. So for me, what hurt looked like was a loss of hearing because I had a special provision called an own occupation provision. So if I couldn't hear properly out of one ear, then I couldn't mix records. I couldn't do my job. And so that's what paid for me to go back to school and spend five years getting four or getting three financial designations. So it's really important that is understood that sick or hurt is definitely um, dependent on what you do. So if you were all of a sudden, Jake, to be able to lose your eyesight, of course, you're not going to be able to be a pilot. Okay. Even if you probably lost, let's just say you lost 
30% of your vision um, or 20%. Don't they, they have checks every six months or whatever, and you can't be somewhat vision impaired and still do a great job of flying. Am I right? Yeah. So we do an annual check every year and there's, there are waivers to where you can be correctable with glasses and stuff, but there's certain like eye conditions that are like a hundred percent, you know, you're out. And I don't know what they are for the airlines. You know, I got a lot of buddies. We talked before we started this video about a lot of my, my buddies who are in the military um, who may still stay in as reservists or they're transitioning out through, you know, retirement and stuff. And they're moving on to the airlines or medevac or whatever. And there, there's definitely, you know, requirements. I don't know what theirs are compared to what ours are, but um, you know, there, there are, you know, certain things that would definitely limit them it, it, hearing as well. So you have hearing issues. Obviously we got to talk on the radios and we're, we're, you know, constantly doing that. And then obviously division as well as, you know, especially in Hilo world, we got a lot of back and hip issues from the, the, the vibrations and things. So that can, you know, kind of shorten our, our uh, flying lifespan potentially. So. Totally. And that's what I'm talking about being, it's really just being able to, uh, unable to perform the major, major duties of your job. So you're just unable to do whatever it is that you need to do to work in the capacity that you're working in. So vision, hearing, all that stuff. Obviously, if you are a doctor and you started getting shakes in your hands, well, you're not going to be able to perform surgery. So you're kind of out. That would be your occupation. And then you could maybe go teach and still get money, even if you were just teaching what you did, but you were unable to actually do. Um, so in, in that instance, Jake, if you are a, a helicopter instructor and you might be able to run some on the ground classes, but you couldn't actually fly, that would qualify because that's okay. not what you were doing. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. So, and everybody's different. And that's what I wanted to kind of point out is that there's a difference between somebody who, you know, flies versus somebody who is a surgeon or, you know, you know, whatever works on a farm or, or whatever. There's, there's different things that they need to be able to do that if they can't do it, it wouldn't really affect me, but it, it would affect them. Right. So everybody, that's why this, totally. I, I've been trying to tell people, this is a, this is a very a highly uh, personalized and custom thing for everybody. And it's, that's why a lot of people will generalize, you know, especially the IBC or whole life insurance is very generalized and in their understanding or their definition of that specific thing, they might be right. But the problem is, is they're not factoring in the whole big picture, which is, you know, it's complicated. It's hard to get in in a, a 10 minute, you know, YouTube video, all the things of what, you know, can be done. So they look online, they see a Dave Ramsey interview, they see a, you know, a Garrett Gunderson thing on why you should do it, but you don't really get all the details. So that's why I'm, you know, going to the, uh, the master, so to speak with you here on, on a, on a very uh, holistic approach. And that's also why I'm breaking this up. So um, it, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but that was, that was kind of your, the initial thing that we need to talk about, about the bulletproof wealth strategy, at least the generalities, we're going to get yes. specifics. Okay. So what I'm going to, guys, what I'm going to do is Tom and I are going to, are going to keep talking. We're going to make some more videos. So I'll be wearing the same shirt and all that stuff. And he will too. Right. Um, unless, unless we get really sweaty doing something, but anyway, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and, and end it here. And, and so go ahead and, and uh, comment or, or hit me up. A lot of you guys have my personal information. If you don't, I have no problem giving it out. So hit me up and we can talk. I can answer any questions specifically, specifically to this video, but what we're going to talk about in the subsequent ones are um, we're actually going to go over my specific policy. We're going to talk about uh, some specific questions that um, a lot of you have, have directly asked me or that a lot of people in general in this kind of realm, this life insurance versus IBC versus, you know, uh, you know, uh, all, all, all the other, you know, Dave Ramsey versus Garrett Gunderson versus, you know, Nelson Nash and all these t different things. We're going to talk about some of those questions to kind of get the elephant, you know, take care of the elephant in the room. And then we'll go ahead and Tom actually introduced me. And there's there's certain requirements you have to hit uh, with your specific policies. But the last video is going to be kind of a bonus video. And it's going to talk about how you can basically take your already bulletproof well strategy and just take it to like the stratosphere as far as uh, how awesome it can be. And I'm not going to divulge exactly what that is, but we'll get into that later. And it has to do um, with uh, some pretty cool uh, banking uh, things that uh, that we that you can do. So um, 
Tom, uh, Tom can tell you about that a little bit. And I'll probably actually do an interview with the, uh, the person that he introduced me to. So, uh, Tom, thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate uh, your time and, um, any, any parting shots before we get out of here? No, I think that that that's basically it. I think it's really important that you guys know that we're just touching the surface on all of this stuff. And it's, it's important to realize that I have done a ton of, of really good deep dive educational videos. And I'm probably gonna just let everybody know at the end of each one of these videos to go to my website, it's bulletproofwealth.info. That's bulletproofwealth.info. And if you just put your name and email in there, you can sign up to get those educational videos for free. And it is a huge value that you're getting um for free as as a part of the listener of this show you can get that so go to bulletproofwealth.info yeah and i'm gonna go ahead and link that in the description of this video so you guys will be able to, to get that um and if you got any, if you forget it or whatever you can't find it hit me up so anybody who i've said anything about stress-free planning this is the same guy he's just uh rebranded and yeah. i think this, the name is is pretty awesome bulletproof wealth i was actually talking with my, my partner Tyler the other day, he was like, that's actually a pretty badass name. So, uh, so kudos <laughs> to you on that. So, all right. Thanks. Well, thanks, Tom. Uh, we'll uh, keep working here. And until next time, guys, here's to your wealth.